going out there spread like smack grim, dude. After all he's been through. He played at Florida. He went to Pitt. And now he's at Auburn. And he's the best quarterback in the nation. And all you people care about is sports talk and making money. He's a super man. But you don't realize Cam's making all this money. And all you do is write a bunch of crap about him. He hasn't been playing at Florida for years. He's at Auburn for a reason. And all he does is win, win, win. Leave him alone! It's okay, Paul. Cam's got it in a bag. You need to settle down. And he's gonna be on the cover of Sports <clears throat> Illustrated. You promise? Yes, he's got it covered. Oh. No more crying. Welcome back from that very disturbing clip, but it is, it is good to see fans of uh, Cam Newton, though, for definitely. sure. Definitely. It's definitely uh, inspirational. And we are here back with Tim Jackson. Thank you so much for yes, joining us. Thank you for joining us, Tim Jackson. You're involved with the, uh, the athletic department, with the football team, all that stuff. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, well, I guess my official role is I'm the executive associate AD, so I'm kind of the second guy in command to our athletic director, Jay Jacobs. But... Um, some, you know, some of the things I oversee are like our fundraising, Tigers Unlimited, uh, ticket operations, facilities, event operations, uh, a variety of those things. But probably the thing that maybe you're more interested in is I oversee the football program. Okay. So I have admi administrative, <laughs> oversight, administrative oversight of football, which uh, I took over, I guess, about a year and a half ago. Okay. And I started 23 years ago coaching here with Coach Dye, so I've kind of got out of coaching. Uh, matter of fact, Tracy Rocker, one of our uh, current coaches, was a senior when I first started coaching. And I was working with the defensive line then. So kind of been in administration the last few years. Very cool. One of our administrators is, I don't know if you met Will Boswell, the man with the guitar. He, uh, he, he wanted to say hi. Line. He's a huge fan. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, actually back in the day, I actually played on the D-line. About yeah. ten years ago, I know it's yeah, hard to, it's hard I mean, to tell. It's pretty <laughs> obvious, bro. <brother. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I lost a couple pounds. Yeah, yeah. The guitar, yeah. The no, you for the guitar. Uh, you play the guitar also, though. I do. Right? I yes. do. I play An a little interesting music. Interesting fact about Tim Jackson. What's your favorite band? Around. Uh, my favorite band probably Third Day is one of my favorite bands. Really? You know, it's a yeah, it's a, a contemporary Christian band and um, good rowdy group of guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the guys on the football team that you work with, um, which leads me into a, a question I wanted to ask you. Um, superlatives for the team. You know, who's the, uh, who's the team clown? If you, had, if you had to throw that out. Uh, well, you know, that's pretty hard because we got a bunch <laughs> of them. <laughs> a bunch of goofballs. Yeah, they're a bunch of clowns. And which is, uh, you know, I'd say, I'd say Cam is probably the ringleader, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but it's, 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 really a great, it's really a great thing. Uh, every, you got so many different personalities on the team, sure. and uh, you know they kind of balance each other. You know, you got some guys a little bit more serious. And <laughs> who's the and, most uh, serious guy? <coughs> well, the most serious guy is Gus Malzahn. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for sure. And uh, but now Gus That's has a, a thing. yeah, Gus has a light side to him too. Uh, as far as the players. You know, I can't think of any one of them that, that's... They're all goofballs. Yeah, they really don't take themselves serious, which is, a, which is a really good thing because, you know, everybody kind of outside of our little world, you know, practicing and play, you know, right. take it real serious. Right. You know, and I know it's fun for them too, right. but it, it can be real serious. So, you know, I if you take it too serious when you're playing, you can get you know, a little too tense and you don't play well. So you got to have a little bit of right. levity in there. Right. Do you have any, any guys on the team who are like big practical jokers that play jokes on y'all or other team members? Mm. Have you got caught up in any of those pranks? If so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a safe zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got, got caught in a few of those and have played a few of those. Oh, <laughs> play right back. The details. And, um, uh, you know, the... Uh, the Halloween thing we did, uh, I guess, a couple weeks ago, that was, uh, see, a lot of people don't know, Coach Chiswick and his wife, Jana, are the, like, ultimate practical jokers, <laughs> you know. know Chiz kind of comes off as being real serious, and yeah. he can be and, and is, but uh, they really like 
to laugh and have fun, which is uh, which, which makes it fun. Right. The the Halloween thing was kind of Jana's idea. She'd heard of something that we'd done the night before. You know, we uh, we'd been to Ole Miss. The Ole Miss game was a was a huge game to me because I grew up 30 miles from Oxford, and okay. and she was actually letting me speak to the team prior to the game because you know for for people in Auburn. It's Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm 17 and four in my 20 something years here against Ole Miss. So you're not, you know, <laughs> but when I grew up in Mississippi, they had won three national championships. They, you know. So you were an Ole Miss fan growing I up? I was. Archie Manning was my hero when I was a little kid. And I basically told the guys, I said, you know, 40 years ago today, well, I don't want to tell my age. But <laughs> I said, 40 years ago today, I'm playing in the front yard with my Ole Miss pants on, my Ole Miss jersey and helmet. We're acting out, man, my best friend are acting out every play as Ole Miss is playing LSU that day and just kind of gave them a little bit of a history and tried to make it a little bit more personal for them. And then, um, so we scored 51 points and it was a, <laughs> you know, it was a, a fun, Big fun, winning game. fun, fun game for me. So after the game, we did something we've, we've never done. I guess before the season started, I told Chiz, I said, hey, we can save a little money on the trip back back from Oxford if we don't fly <laughs> and because <laughs> regrettable decision because flying uh, we have to drive from Oxford to Memphis right. that's an hour and a half you go through 45 minutes of screening you fly to Columbus Georgia you get off the plane there you get well the time you get to Auburn is four and a half hours or we can just get on buses take two extra buses let the guy stretch out sleep right. <laughs> and we're home Fine. in five hours yeah so maybe 30 extra minutes. So she's like, hey, bro, I'm all in. Let's do it. <laughs> and uh, so after the game, we take off on the buses. Well, about two hours after we've been traveling. I got to say, this, sound, this already sounds like it's going downhill. Yeah. About two hours <laughs> after we've been traveling. And so I'm on the first bus there with, with uh, Chiz and Gus. And we've got the first team offense essentially on that bus. And uh, we stop at a truck stop. And uh, Chiz says, what are we doing? And I said, well, the, there's a law. The bus drivers have to pull over and have to get off the bus for like five minutes, I guess, so they know that they're awake. Right. We don't want anyone to And uh, so she was just like, okay. And Gus and I had just been talking earlier. We had chicken for post-game. You know, we didn't have any, we didn't have any ice cream. We didn't have any cookies Oh, my anything. gosh, y'all love ice cream? Well, uh, we're huge. You know, we normally have a dub bar on the plane. That's one of the big things, right. you know. So uh, I said, hey, Gus, I'm going to run in and get a candy bar. You want anything? Gus like, I'm going to go with you. <laughs> and so Chiz says, hey, do you think we all let the kids get off and stretch their legs? And I said, yeah. So I said, all right, guys, we're stopped for five minutes. Get off and stretch your legs, and we're getting out of here. So Lee Zimba says, uh, hey, Mr. Jackson, you think I can run in and get a candy bar? I said, yeah, but you got to hurry. <laughs> so it's like a field trip full of kids. So we <laughs> go into the truck <laughs> stop. Really I mean, this, this is classic. Now, we go into the truck stop, and um, – and there are about nine or ten of the players in there, and they're going around, and one's like picking out a bag of peanuts and the candy bar, and I hear one of them say, I don't have any money. So it just hit me, you know, by NCAA rules, when you have a game, you have a period so many hours before the game and after the game where you can essentially feed the guys whatever. There's right. no, you know. So I asked one of our administrators, Jeremy Roberts, I said, hey, Jeremy, we're still on the clock. He's like, yeah. I said, okay, guys. This is on me. You know, I ain't got to worry about I it. I need to start traveling. You know. <laughs> so, uh, so, I go, so I go up and I tell, the, there's one guy in there to register. His name is Bob. <laughs> He's at least 75 years old. Got an earring, big diamond <laughs> earring in this Special. ear. And he was, he was a hoot, man. So I said, Bob, I've, I've got all these guys. You got all these guys? Yeah. Well, next thing I know, I've got about 70 guys <laughs> in the truck stop because the word gets around, you know. Free candy from Tim Jackson. So we're, we're out there for about 30 minutes, and I get a text from Chiz. Tim, let's roll. I text him back. I said, hey, brother, it's going to be a little while. <laughs> and uh, I said, but the, but the guys are having a ball. Because, I mean, it was, it was, it was wild. I mean, Candy they were like, candy yeah, candy that's, that's right. right. And just cutting up, having a good time. And uh, I said, they're having a the ball. He texts me back, I'm not. <laughs> so <laughs> he comes, he comes in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he comes in there a few minutes later, and he's looking, he's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> And I said, I said, hey, listen, <laughs> you know, you, want, you wanted the full experience, brother. You All might right. as well come on in and enjoy it. So we were there for 50 minutes, <laughs> which added to the time. Right. 
we get on the bus. The guys are, you know, of course, they're no matter what, they're having a ball from, right. from the big win. The big tough guys having a ball right. on the field trip. And so we're, we're traveling, and I got Zimba laying across two seats. <laughs> Next thing you know, at like 229, I get a text from Pew. And he said, Bolt, which is one of our coaches, he said, Bolt just stepped on me. I'm like, what? I look, he's laying in the floor, stretched out. Bolt goes to step over Zimba's legs, and when he does, he steps right oh, on top no. of Ryan Pugh. Oh, no. So it was kind of a comedy of errors, but it's something the guys talked about all the next morning. And Jonna hears about it, and she calls, and she says, I am mad at you. And I'm like, why? She said, because I missed all this fun oh. last night. That's all these guys were talking things. about. You yeah. need to record these things. For and uh, she said, you got to top it off. You got to do it. She knew we were doing a, our family dinner. We kind of changed it and we're doing it in our indoor complex and having it mm -hmm. catered over. She says, you got to top this off and you got to do a Halloween contest, <laughs> costume contest. So I started thinking and I called our compliance guy to see if we could give s some type of prize or something. Right. And so within about 30 minutes, I'd sent out a text message to all of our players that they had four hours, that we were going to have a Halloween costume <laughs> contest, and there were going to be three prizes. The next thing you know, they're scattered over town at all of these <laughs> stores. Right party you know, and, and, yeah, and then, of course, sure. you saw, you know, what some of the goofballs came in. Cam Newton in a yeah. outfit. Yeah, well, oh, he, yeah. you know, he thinks he's the rock, I guess. You well, know, the rock did the movie oh, yeah. The Tooth Fairy. Oh, yeah. So. And tell me real quick, what is, what is Cam and Cam juice? I've heard something about Cami Cam juice, so he drinks it on the field. Yeah, here's what it is. Uh, Cami Cam juice, his his grandmother, I think, made this. All it is is super, super sweet Gatorade. I mean, it's like if you would take one cup of Gatorade, I think it's got about 10 <laughs> cups of powder oh in it. Oh my so God. Cam is, you know, he's, he's, he's a clown. Right. And he's over there on the sideline, and he's just, it's kind of like he's doing a commercial, you know. The one thing Coach Chizik said, this was, I think, the Lyman Monroe game. He said, hey, there are going to be several guys that get a chance to play the second half. Make sure that all you guys that have been playing support them like they've supported Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So Kim is over there just interacting with his team. And next thing I know, uh, Jeff Fisher, who coaches the, the Tennessee Titans, his son's on our team. And, and Kim is like, Fish, you got to tell your dad. The secret to the energy is the Cammy Cam juice. <laughs> so, so Trent. We're going to get Will some Cammy Cam so, juice. I'll so, take some. Uh, <laughs> so Trent's looking at him, and he squirts a little in his mouth, and Trent has this look like, hmm, He's all jacked doesn't up. say anything, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, so Cam's trying to get everybody to drink. It's just, uh, you know, he, I think, likes it. Right. But uh, none of the other it's guys do. And, <laughs> and his mom, his grandmom, you know, if you see his grandmother, you'll hear, you know, Cammy, <laughs> you know, and uh, that's kind of where it came from. Just kind yeah, of a funny well, thing. You, you, it's so obvious when you watch a game and, and you see the guys interacting on the field that everyone is such a family. I mean, they're not only a team, but they're, they're a family. And so I think it's great. And um, it definitely, from your, you regaled us with some stories. I mean, it totally true. just sounds true. You guys should come up with like a team diary, like a video diary or yeah. something. And it's been very fun to get the inside scoop about our Absolutely. tough players on the field. Yeah. Uh, see the soft Passing kids. Passing my kids, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Sure. We really yeah. appreciate it's it. It's great to be with you. Tank? Feel free to take a yes. brownie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really <laughs> See, if I had had these on our trip from Oxford, we would have missed the truck well, maybe stop. Maybe we'll make you guys right. some good goodie gift baskets from the Prowl. So, okay, yeah, right. We, we have some bakers here. We, we all love to bake, and we love food. We so. keep food in the <laughs> Yeah, we do. Right. Again, thanks again. Will, thank you so much for oh, gracing yeah. us with your presence. And well, thank, thank you guys thank so you guys much for, for me. tuning in, and we will see you guys next week. See ya.